हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एक्सोमेटिकॉस दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन सीरीज फॉर आई आई टी जैम टू थाउजेंड टेन सो वी आर हैव विद दिस प्रॉब्लम फाइव ऑफ योर पेपर दिस इज अगेन अनालिसिस प्रॉब्लम सो लेट एस फर्स्टली हैव अ लुक ऑन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट से इज दैट एफ इज अ फंक्शन फ्रॉम द ओपन इंटरवल वन कॉमा फोर टू आर which is a uniformly continuous function let a and b be a cauchy sequence in 1 comma 2 and let xn is defined like this okay and yn is defined like this for all n belongs to natural number then which of the following statements is true so both xn and yn must be cauchy and uh, similar regard uh, sim similar options like that okay you need to check whether they are cauchy or not okay so solution now the first thing is what is given to you is this that an is cauchy in this subset of r which is 1 comma 2 now since an is cauchy inside of this that means an is a cauchy sequence in its superset are you getting my point or not now the most important thing that we will be using here is a result and what is that result it's very simple and easy to remember okay otherwise it will take time to prove but we we don't need any proof here we are going to just state that result for you and what is that result that under a uniformly continuous function suppose f is a function from a to b and f is uniformly continuous suppose these two things are given okay suppose these two things are given then image of cauchy sequence image of cauchy sequence is a cauchy sequence so this is the simple simplest result to remember that under uniformly continuous function image of cauchy sequence is a cauchy sequence okay this is what we will be using now since we are inside r so everything we are talking about cauchy sequences then we know that in r cauchy if and only if convergent this is what we know okay inside r we know that every cauchy sequence is convergent and every convergent sequence is cauchy okay so this is the basic thing inside r now see what is given to you that an is cauchy okay now since an is cauchy an is cauchy okay then it simply means that an square will be cauchy okay it is easy to prove that why an square will be a cauchy sequence now since an is cauchy this will imply the product of these two sequences is again a cauchy sequence now since f is a uniformly continuous function so you can say f of an square is a cauchy sequence now since f of an square is a cauchy sequence what is the meaning of this it has a very specific meaning because it will be used for your xn and xn and yn okay so now use that result since f of an square is cauchy that means f of an square is convergent so let us say it converges to l when n goes to infinity right now let us check what are your uh, xn and yn so xn is an square f of an square right and uh, just try to check whether they are convergent or not so limit n goes to infinity xn is equal to okay so limit n goes to infinity an square f of an square now since both of the sequences are convergent sequences uh so what you can okay let i have not uh defined the limit for an so i should define it here since an is a cauchy sequence that means an is convergent right so let us let me use a variable let us say an goes to l dash when 
n goes to infinity okay since a n is cauchy so that's why i am writing this thing so this product will be separated limit will be separated inside it because both of the limits are defined f of a n square right so you will get l dash square dot l square so this is what you will get so as n goes to infinity xn goes to this number that means xn is a convergent sequence now since xn is convergent sequence so what you can say since you are inside r you can say that xn is cauchy are you getting my point or not it's the same thing you can use for yn let us check limit n goes to infinity yn what it is it will be limit n goes to infinity f of a n square by 1 plus a n square so what is the meaning of this thing as n goes to infinity f of a n this thing goes to uh, l square that is what i have already written here so that means what where it will go it will go to 1 by l this this number right so y n is again a convergent sequence right now since y n is cauchy therefore what you can say that y n and x n both are cauchy okay y n is a convergent so you can say y n is also cauchy okay so finally what you have proved that both x n and y n will be cauchy okay so what is the important result that you have used you have used this result that under a uniformly continuous function image of a cauchy sequence is cauchy and also you have used that inside uh, inside real numbers what happens is that every cauchy sequence is convergent and every convergent is cauchy so you can write that thing as cauchy if and only if convergent you got my point so therefore a must be your correct option so now let me uh, mark your correct options this is correct this is incorrect this is incorrect and this is incorrect so finally you have proved that a is a correct option right so thank you